Kelsey and Kevin. You made it. We're here. Take a moment in this space with these people and each other. Let's be here. Kelsey and I um, started dating right before I moved to be a backpacking guide in Colorado. So I was living up in the mountains of Colorado. I didn't have an ability to use a phone. Smart. Every time I see you. Kelsey and I wrote letters back and forth. Stars when you walk in the room. He was writing from the mountains and I was writing beside the ocean. Such thing as ordinary and at one point she addressed one of my letters. She said, Kevin, Mountain, BB. And, um, and so I was like, well, crap, I gotta think of a name. <laughs> name. So was like, uh, Ocean mix. We realized after a while it was perfect for our personalities that him is a mountain. He's very strong and sturdy, and um, <laughs> in a lot of ways, when when my emotions get out of control, kind of like the waves of an ocean get really stormy, he helps me feel calm and grounds me. I am yours. Won't you be mine? I am yours Won't you be mine So when she's needed that stability, when she's needed that rock, that is who I am. When I've needed someone to wear down that stubborn, rocky side of myself, that like overly rigid, less emotional side. Um, I draw him out and I soften him. Um, and so we, we balance each other really well. He calms me and I pull him out of his shell. I'm always on your side. So let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Come and strike up. As I said, I've known you a lot of years, Kevin. And I was thinking about when on this last week. You're the guy who, when he gets to a new situation, you throw your hands in your pockets, and you listen, and you look, and you watch, and you try and figure out what is going on here before making assumptions and jumping in and taking action that's undeserved or incorrect. That has been one of the most steadying influences on my life. And Kelsey, I think you're very lucky that you're gonna have that. Let's start a fire, I want to keep you warm. Oh, come and strike up the choir, throw open all the doors. Oh, Kelsey and I met our freshman year of college in dance class. I was quite intimidated by Kelsey at first. If you've ever seen her dance, you see, know that she dances beautifully and with a lot of confidence, which is something I lacked for a while. Um, and just seeing her, I was in awe. And so I was quite intimidated. And then once I started talking to her, discovered she is one of the most kind, most passionate, and most loving people I have ever met in my entire life. And I'm very glad that over our four years of undergraduate and then two years of graduate school together that she very quickly developed into one of my best friends. I am yours and you are mine How the sun does shine And how the stars burn bright Dear Mountain, I came to write by the water because it reminds me of the first letters I wrote to you. It reminds me of when I first fell in love with you and knew you'd be the man I would be marrying. You captured my heart that summer as I sat reading your words by the water. 
And now here we are, about to say I do. From Old Testament class until now, I have been blessed to have you in my life. And you know I don't use the B word lightly. I'm grateful for your persistence, your love, and your patience. It has been a journey. We've made it across states, moves, mountains, and oceans of learning to care and support each other faithfully. I am most thankful for the ways God has shown up for us, in us and through us, and all the ways that God brings us together. As we sing of Christ in our journey through life, fear, joy, skinned knees, poopy butts, <laughs> litter boxes, and old age to whatever is next, I am thankful to sing that gospel with you. You are my ocean, my waves to loosen me up and wear me down, my tide that keeps me flowing even in the dance of God and spirit. Simply put, I love you forever, and I hope you feel it each day. I love you, Mountain. I am excited, so excited to walk down the aisle to you and become your wife and walk back out to really begin this journey together as Mr. and Mrs. Beebe. Thank you for choosing me today and every day. All my love, Ocean. The heart asks different questions. Questions of connection and safety and values and chemistry and possibilities. We wrote stories a long time ago about how we got together. So I continued the story. Driving back from the mountains in Colorado, I was nervous, wondering what would happen. Writing letters and falling in love over words is one thing and in person is another. But you walked in and you kissed me and it was going to be forever. Right then I knew, we knew, ocean and mountain together. Skype and text messages, we learned to love each other's souls via our computer screens. So millennial. And sometimes we would stay up all night on Skype so we would not be alone. Kelsey, where this story goes next is anyone's guess and where the spirit blows us is known but to God. But I'm cool with that. I know that the journey to the end will be one that I do not want to miss. Kevin, the mountain to my ocean. You steady my waves and draw me in, always calming my ever stormy seas. You have taught me what it means to love and to be loved. Today and every day I vow to love God to love you, to love myself, and to love the world. In all moments, I vow to pray and serve God, keeping Christ at the center of our hearts and lives. I will love you fiercely and forever, the mountain to my ocean. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> So here we are at yet another life moment. Your first day of school, your first prom, getting your driver's license. That's a story in itself. <laughs> and your ordination and now this. We're very proud of all of your accomplishments. I have a little object lesson for you here. It's a rock. He said, Mom, she's the first person I've dated that I've ever prayed with. And it was like, Wow, that is that is really amazing. But I know that I know that they have this rock, this prayer, this sense of prayer that is their rock and that will sustain them through their marriage. I am so grateful too 
for Kelsey. And when we finally did get to meet her later that summer, I, I was like, oh, yes. She's a lovely woman, and I think that's it. Storm.